Hello, my name is Matt Foy. I'm a retired salmon restoration biologist, and I was honored to have worked many years on restoring salmon habitat in this valley, the Chilliwack River Valley. With a number of great colleagues and friends, including the likes of Bruce Usher, retired project manager in the BC Watershed Restoration Program. And today, I am the volunteer chair of the Fraser Valley Watersheds Coalition. I was asked today to talk about salmon by the, water, by the Water Wealth Project folks. So here is a story I wrote for you from my experiences on the river. It captures some of how I make sense of this place in the world. Now, in case you noticed, that picture that we're looking at is a pair of steelhead spawning on newly placed spawning gravel at the outlet of Chilliwack Lake, one of Bruce's favorite BC watershed restoration projects. I put it there just to see him smile. So each of us see and interprets the world differently, but the sharing of stories among us helps us learn from each of our unique perspectives and experiences. So my story today is about change and resiliency, the story of salmon of this place. So where we stand today in Vedder Park near the Vedder Crossing on the Chilliwack River 11,000 years ago was covered with glacial ice, hundreds of meters or more in depth. Yet salmon very likely would have found this river even back then. During that age, the river we now know as the Chilliwack was dammed here at the crossing by the Fraser Valley Glacier and so rose up into a deep glacial lake upstream, depositing clay, silts, sand, and gravels at the bottom of that long ago lake. And as it rode up, it then flowed south through Cultus Lake and finally into the Nooksack River watershed that flows down into Bellingham Bay in the United States of America. Now, during that time, of great change. The very first Scotskakal salmon may have entered the upper Chilliwack River from the Nooksack River to the south, perhaps 8,000 years ago, just because they could. By 5,000 years ago, the Great Valley glaciers had melted away and the river, as I have been told, was then known as the allowing it to once again flow out of its upper valley to pass over where we stand today and turn to the north. Eucaloop, a word from the land of fire and ice, Iceland, means a sudden violent flood as an ice dam holding back a glacial lake fails and a great flood results. Eucaloop. If you've ever been to the town of Hyder, Alaska to view the bears fishing chum salmon at Fish Creek, which is a groundwater fed stream, just like Peach Creek, a tributary of the large glacial born Salmon River, those salmon know very well what a eucaloop is. So in 1961, just yesterday, in the Salmon River watershed, a glacier dam lake, Summit Lake, catastrophically drained when the glacier that created it collapsed and a great flood occurred down across that valley, Eucaloop. Even after that great flood, Fish Creek still provides a world-renowned place to see salmon spawning and bears fishing. Resilience is the salmon's middle name. The gravel lake that stood for 5,000 years or more in the upper Chilliwack Valley 
drained away catastrophically as the lower Fraser Valley glaciers retreated and rapidly cut down through the gravels, silts, and clays of the lake bottom, leaving high gravel and clay banks we know so well today along the upper river valley. Now this great flood and others that followed also deposited many layers of glacial sands and gravels downstream, forming a, forming a broad gravel delta to the north and west containing a water-rich aquifer as the river found its old path down to the Fraser River. And through all these momentous events, the salmon persisted. So the river of that day flowed past this place where we stand today, turning into its many channels to the north, what we now know as the Little Chilliwack, Luckacuck, and Achillitz Creeks, were simply strong flowing side channels of this newly freed glacier fed river. Siakton community lies just down to the north on Veda Road. And that name means in the Helcomelum language, as I have been told, as the place of salmon weirs. Long ago, Siakton was then located on the banks of the long ago Stokwayek Staulo, Chilliwack River, where that community harvested through their fish weirs and traps the abundant salmon that swam past their village, that place, each season. Over 100 years ago, the river we now know as the Chilliwack was turned to the west down a channel then known as Vedder Creek and dikes placed to keep the river in this path where it remains to this very day. The river we now know as the Chilliwack changes its name here in this place to the Vedder River and today flows west, not south, not north. All these monumental changes the salmon have faced over these past millennia and they still continue to return to this beautiful river, but we can take nothing for granted in the future. In a very good year, more than 100,000 salmon, Chinook, Sockeye, Pink, Chum, and Coho, and their relations, Steelhead, Cutthroat, and Bull Trout, still return to the river. We now know as the Chilliwack better. So many hope that that through hard work to protect the habitats we have now and restore the habitats we can in the coming years, every year can be a good year. Now the path forward we all face is uncertain with challenges ahead, but like the salmon have shown us, change comes and we must respond the best we can. We and the salmon are resilient and together we can make the future better if we work as one. The Better River Corridor remains a rich and bountiful natural area that also provides secure places to create ponds, channels, and wetlands, all fed by upwelling groundwater springs from the precious Vedder Aquifer, born from those long ago yuccalups. The carefully restored off-channel spring-fed habitats that you may pass by today, such as Peach Creek Spawning Channel, Hoogie, and the Great Blue Heron Reserve Selwing Creek Wetlands, all provide critical refuge habitats for salmon during the worst of the floods and atmospheric rivers that are sure to come our way. So enjoy your time in this beautiful place and run, 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 like the salmon, never tired, never discouraged, never beaten. The salmon have run each year to support some of our families here for over 5,000 years. Today, we are all here to support them. This has been my brief but spectacular take on the salmon in this place 
we call home. Once again, I am Matt Foy, Chair of the Fraser Valley Watersheds Coalition, non-advocacy, science and collaboration driven, and proud partner with the Water Wealth Project and all others that care about salmon and are willing to work hard to protect and restore them into our lives. If you are curious about the, what the uh, Fraser Valley Watershed Coalition is all about, check us out online. Thank you and sweet dreams on your journeys today of redfish up the river, swimming into the green heart of the primal forest that lays just beyond Scottsdale in the pristine upper Chilliwack River Valley.